Hey guys, it's Justin back with a video. It's been about a year since I put a video on. Uh, I was going to start putting them on last year, but life got in the way. Um, I got a go kart here and I got off my buddy Mike. And it was freezing, his, it was standing in his garage for like a long time. I was looking for one, he found it, and I, I, I offered him. I offered him 100 bucks for this thing, he told me no. And then I offered him $150 for it and he told me no again. So I just, I wasn't giving him that more than $150 for that, I mean it's junk. And he come up, he was cleaning out his garage, he asked if I wanted it, he just gave it to me. Maybe he didn't want to take my money. But I got it for free, so we're going to tear it down. Me and my dad and my brother, we're going to do a build off, we're going to build a racetrack. And we're just going to see who's, who's is the fastest. I mean, we were at go karts down in Virginia and we had a ball and it cost money. So why not put my money into my own project and I can ride it all one. And it's something he can do with his dad. So, and any time we get a chance to do something together, we're going to do it. No matter what it takes, we're going to do it. Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, put a video on. I, uh, I was going to start making videos and then life got in the way. I got kids and uh, we're gonna we're gonna start going again here. Uh, I got all my parts to make this thing run and we're gonna we're gonna uh, do our best to uh, make it safe and you ain't gonna make it safe. Well we're gonna weld it together so it don't fall completely apart yeah. when he takes it around the chat. Well you know I mean <laughs> Anyhow, let's get to tearing this guy down, and uh, Brand or Justin here is going to show you what he's going to be doing to it, and uh, what he's going to be putting on it. So let's get to what we got to put on it. Well, we got a live axle. Where's the live axle at? Right here. Let's bring some of them parts over here. What makes that any better axle than the axle that's on it? Well. This is only one wheel. It doesn't spin. It's locked up. But your motor would set here, and I guess you would have a, a jack shaft here because I don't see any bolt holes for my motor. So you'd probably have a jack shaft, and it just spin one wheel. And then you got these brakes that just push right up against the tire, and I can't see that being good on your tire. Or I don't know how good so, it will slow you down. Well, what kind of brake are you gonna put on it? Drum brakes. Drum brakes. Yeah. They come with the kit. Here's my uh, axle. It'll be, it's actually, well, it's a few inches wider. But uh, it'll be dual wheels. Both wheels will spin, we'll have more traction. Just, it's just better. Where can I pick up one of them axles at? Well, you can get it from, uh, there's a couple different places, but Go Power Sports sells a complete kit for, uh, what is it, 200 and, 240 bucks, uh, maybe a little more, maybe around 250. But uh, there's a code on Cars and Cameras YouTube channel, and you type in their code and you get 10% off. So I got it for like 225 bucks. What all comes in the kit, buddy? It comes with the axle. Tires. Here's, I'll just bring one out. So you got tires, your bearing, and your flanges, or your uh, mounts, or whatever you call mounts. Uh, comes with them, but these are ten dollars more. So you got to add them. You got to add them on. It comes with a sixty tooth sprocket for a four twenty chain. It comes with all the uh, keys. For the keyway, okay. Comes with all the collars. Okay. Comes with uh, well, here's the band for the disc brakes or uh, drum brakes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And here's the drum. That's what your brakes are going to yeah, rest this, up this, against. This is set. This is inside there for the, the drum brakes. Okay, that's cool. 
So you basically got to cut all that rear end off of there? This, this well, we're, we're going to start tearing her apart and we're going to see what we're going to get to here. Also, um, this, this is a kid's two-seater go-kart. And if you come back here and look, there's no way I'm going to be able to set over there like that. I'm six foot one, 220 pounds. So I'm going to have to move this over and I'm getting rid of the, the uh, two-seater seat, this piece of junk that was on there. And I got this single seat. You're going to mount that on there? Yeah, that should be a lot better. And it's going to set just about that low. That's where I want it anyway. So we're going to have to do some modifications. So you're going to move the steering over. You're going to do the foot pedals. you got to do something with the foot pedals too, right? Yes. You're going to have to bring the foot pedals. Well, I see this. There's, what, eight inches of uh, frame not yeah. being used. Yeah. Take this ugly thing off. And we'll just move this because it's all bolted. We'll just unbolt it and re-weld it. We're going to move it up here to the front. So that'll give me eight more inches of leg room, which that should be plenty. And then I can actually, I can move that back if I want to. I got, I can, uh, I can do whatever I really need to do back there. Uh, what kind of motor did you buy for this thing? Well, it's nothing special. It's a uh, Predator 212. Everybody uses them from their go-karts. They're cheap. It's like 120 bucks, six and a half horsepower. And uh, yeah, brand new, 120 bucks. So can't really beat that. Can't and they got they, uh, they they got a lot of upgrade parts for it. Like you can get uh, you can get uh, billet um, connecting rods. You can get billet uh, flywheels. You can uh, you can do all kinds of stuff to it. They sell stage one, two, three. I don't know if they get any higher, but they might. But uh, to uh, th that the stage two kit and the stage one kit you do them both it brings up to 15 horsepower it says so but you're just going to leave your stock for now yeah well yeah kind of don't, take... don't be joking your old man now because if you're going to be well, fears up i'm going to do the same thing now because if we're going to be racing it's only 120 bucks i mean it's not like i'm gonna yeah. starve if it, if it breaks so i'm probably going to take the governor out uh it, it governs it like or red lines it doesn't redline, but it's governing at like 3,600 RPM. So I think it takes, I think it'll take it up to like 5,200 RPMs taking the governor out from what I read online. But they said the, the, the valves will float at like, I don't know, 5,200, 5,300 RPM. So it, it, I don't think you can really over red it unless you get uh, stiffer valve springs. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I don't think you want to blow your motor up though. That's for sure. I don't want to blow it up, but if it happens, it happens. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so uh you're gonna get to tearing this thing apart or yeah we're gonna tear it apart and get it down to the bare frame and then we'll do take some measurements whatever we're gonna widen that front too it's got to be wider i need it at least as wide as the back and this axle actually i paid two dollars more and got a 40 inch 40 inch axle so it's like uh it's only like a dollar an inch you know to add on but we're gonna we're gonna get started on this. just to uh, so we can get an idea of where uh, where we need to the height of it which I'm gonna have bigger tires than that on the front but um, we need to get this put together kind of just to uh, get an idea of where we need to be all right guys we got the axle mounting uh, brackets for the bearings tacked on I think this is where it needs to be, and uh, we, we did measure. 
I've uh, never done it before, but I think it's I think this is right. But uh, we'll give you a close up. That way you can um, just get an idea. We, we we don't know if we're right, but if you got a better way of doing it, uh, let us know. But this one's going like this. Now what he got here is he put the um, both brackets are on the outside and they're hanging down. I've noticed some of the builds on YouTube that actually the plate was turned over. But we're going for the height because we're going to be building these. They're going to be off-road go-karts. We're going to build a dirt track. We'd like to have it lower, but the axle is going to be above the motor. So I'm sure there's ways of doing it, but uh, this is the way we're doing it. So who's welding, you or me? I've only welded a few things. What's your go-kart? I'll do it. <laughs> All right. You, you go like this? Yeah, I just like this. No, I go back and put this in. Yeah, real, real tiny in that crack. But just, just go about an inch or so. And if you see it don't look good, just stop. I'll level it for you. Just go about an inch. What do you think? Let's go check out his weld. First weld. I'd say that passes the inspection. I think that's a pretty good weld. You can go a little faster if you want, but I think it looks pretty nice. I ain't welding that. You weld it. Ah. You're okay. It'll melt down. We're gonna cut that off. Alright, there's Justin's first weld. The first weld he ever did is right there. The second weld he ever did is right there. And I got to say, these are pretty nice welds. I mean, uh, we're not professional by no means, but that's a good looking weld to me. And I thought for sure I was going to have to weld this buggy together, but I think he needs to practice, so he'll be doing all the welding. All right, guys, we flipped the uh, go kart over and got the bottom of these welded. And the strongest part on the cart. Yeah, I got four welds total under my belt, so. You want to check them out? I'll let the guys criticize them. All right. There's uh, Dustin's third weld. Here's his fourth. I think he's getting worse. <laughs> well, I had to try to... There was a hole there. and You know, I got to say that that's the only part on the cart that's going to stay together. The rest of that well, junk is going to fall apart. This is JB welded, I think. No, it's got a weld on there. Look at that. One weld on the whole cart, right there it is. Oh, here's, a, here's two. Oh! There's two. That's not a weld. Is that a weld? That's what it looks like. Well, it almost looks like bubble gum. Anyhow. Alright, you gonna put, flip it over and start putting yeah. the back side on? Yeah. Let's go flip this. it over. And get out the of the way. Store the axle and the wheels on it. Watch it, bend it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Brandon's here, by the way. Yeah, my other son's here. Okay. He's, uh, we're going to go up his place probably tomorrow. We'll get a quick video of his piece of junk. That's, and a, that's a gym. <laughs> it's a bad boy. You exercise? Uh, or what kind of gym are you talking about, dude? Yeah, G-E-M. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. You lost my nuts. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're going to end it for tonight. Um, but I got my... Live axle hooked up. I don't got none of the other stuff on it right now because I still got a mount the motor plate and it's going to come apart 
come apart a few more times, I'm sure. Uh, next thing, we're going to work on that front end. Getting it widened out, getting the steering moved. Uh, so stay tuned.